Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Um, at the moment I am back and forth traveling for work and when I mean traveling I'm talking about multiple plane rides, long coach rides, uh, in and out of hotels, different uh, you know uh, theatre venues and things like that on a cup every couple of days a new city. Um, so it's kind of a, a mad sort of scramble and everything we are traveling with over these weeks where we are away uh, is we have to carry uh, suitcases or backpacks or those sorts of things. Um, so I decided to scale my carry back quite considerably for this uh, particular part of the tour. So I wanted to cover, as I'm sort of getting it ready, I wanted to cover for you today what I am uh, carrying in terms of pens and paper because uh, it is a lot less than I normally uh, would do. Um, I'm going to start with some basics. One thing I always travel with, and that is an A5 Rodia uh, dot pad, standard not an ADGSM Rodia dot pad. These are handy, not just from the perspective of um, having paper on hand, but they're good quality paper. They're also affordable and widely available. In Australia, uh, a lot of office works stores sell these. So you can kind of get them in most cities. Uh, and it is, as I said, it's good paper. It's a handy size, uh, good for writing down, you know, to-do lists or whatever the case may be, or uh, anything you need that's sort of more important than that. So uh, Rodia dot pad is number one. The next thing is my basic pencil case. And this is the pencil case that uh, I've shown a number of times on this channel. It's the Galen Leather Leather Student Pencil Case with beautiful little brass buttons. I'm a big, big brass fan. I love brass. Um, so having a couple of brass little bits and pieces there. Um, so this opens up and uh, you see what my basic uh, carry is uh, in here. A pencil sharpener, I carry a couple of um, Blackwing, Palomino Blackwing pencils, uh, different volumes, whatever I've got on hand, um, a Pilot Varsity fountain pen, a little ruler, a Tombow uh, Mono 1 eraser. This is a nice one. Um, it sort of, it allows me to do sort of relatively precise work, uh, which is great. Uh, you're rubbing out like markings in music and things like that. I also carry my Apple Pencil, which I have a silicon tip so to give me some, uh, me some extra drag on the page, uh, and then a silicon protective uh, cover for that. Uh, yeah, Bic four color click pen, super handy ballpoint, a highlighter, mechanical pencil. I use a two millimeter mechanical pencil. This is just one for, I got from Daiso, I think. Um, nothing fancy. The leads, and that's about it, really. Standard stuff, you know, that I carry. But that's sort of like work utility stuff. Uh, you know, the pencils I need for music and the Apple Pencil for my iPad, those sorts of things. The fun bits are kept in another case, which I'll come to a little bit later on. I always travel with a pocket notebook. Uh, and at the moment, what I'm using is um, Midori uh, note pocket notebooks. Um, this is what they look like. They come in a pack of three. And I'll, so I'll carry one like on my person and the other couple or one, however many are left. Uh, I'll carry those like in my, you know, main suitcase or whatever. Uh, but these are really handy. Once again, lined. I pre I'm really coming to prefer lined. Um, I put this in a, a My Goals uh, cover, which I got for one of the My Goals notebooks a while ago. Um, these are, you know, rugged covers, uh, nothing fancy, but they really do protect the notebooks beautifully. Uh, and when you're slipping it in and out of backpacks and things like that, it's super, super handy. Another thing I carry in my pocket is my Aston Leather uh, pen sleeve. And in that, I carry what is my everyday writing pen. Uh, and at the moment, uh, for this trip, it's going to be my Sailor Pro gear. Now that is a, you know, it's an expensive pen, I suppose, to be taking on tour. I want to have something I love writing with because I want to love writing and enjoy doing my uh, planning and stuff. Uh, so it's kind of like a risk I'm I'm going to be willing to take. Uh, but also I look after my stuff. What's in my pocket is well protected and uh, looked after. What I use in this, I've taken the cart the converters out of all of my pens because I use cartridges when I'm on the road. Um, 
And so I have the Sailor Blue Black cartridges uh, to use in that. There will be always be one in the pen, one in a little plastic uh, sleeve in my uh, drop kit in my backpack, and then the rest in my standard luggage. So that will live in my pocket. Another thing that lives close on hand, either in my pocket or in my backpack, is a good ballpoint pen. Now, this is a Mazzuoli uh, pen. I was uh, gifted this by a viewer, uh, the pen body, and I love it. I think it's a really kind of cool, unique uh, pen. Uh, it's sort of, it's got a nice feel in the hand. And I put a Fisher Space Pen uh, refill in this. So it's a super reliable, super beautiful uh, ballpoint pen refill for whenever you need a pen or someone needs to borrow a pen at short notice. It's always going to be there. So that'll be close at hand as well. Next, we come to my planner or my main notebook, and I use this. This is the uh, the Greenwood Journal. Uh, it's embossed with my initials. It's uh, lined. I've made like made a diary in it. Um, uh, you know, like separated the pages. Gives it some um, idea of you know sort of how I do my layout. Um, I, so what I've done is I've created a diary in here. I've also created a social media diary so I can keep up to date with what I'm doing for all of this stuff. Uh, and then the, you know, sort of the back pages beyond the diary, as you can see there from the lines, are uh, like my daily spreads, my to-do lists, my and also uh, journaling. Um, I want to write about this trip because I'm seeing so many beautiful places. Uh, so I wanted to really cover all of that. And so putting all of this into one journal, which is, I'm calling freeform journaling, it takes elements from bullet journaling. It takes elements from a number of other forms. Uh, but keeping it all in one handy sort of notebook, this has traveled with me already on the first part of all of this. So it's seen some love already. Um, it's doing really, really well. It's holding up nicely. Uh, and so, yeah, having that free space uh, to do, as I said, you know, uh, I can plan projects, I can scribble down ideas for things, but I just put a date, I put a date, so I might say, you know, um, August 17, and then do my to-do list for that day, uh, any places I need to be, reference numbers for flights or whatever the case may be. Uh, and then I can sort of freeform journal underneath that, writing out ideas. I can do spreads in the middle of all of that, uh, which I then index uh, in the back of the book. Um, you know, for like if I've got a a particular video I would like to make, you know, at some point I can make the notes for that over a spread and all those sorts of things. Uh, and then as I finish a day, um, you know, on the daily page, I just put the next date underneath it, so it'd be August 18, and then write the to-do list and etc. be on there. So it becomes a flowing journal, uh, which covers everything. As I said, elements from bullet journaling, there's elements of sort of brain dump and all of that sort of stuff as well. Uh, so this is in a Greenwood journal. They are fountain pen friendly paper. It's lovely paper. Um, they come in a different, number of different line rules. They're Melbourne based, which I love. They've got a good social conscience and all of that. And Sam over there is just such a lovely guy uh, to deal with. So a big shout out to Greenwood Journals. Um, and this is what I'm using as my current planner. Okay, now down to the last bit, the fun bit. Um, it is pen, like fountain pen stuff. And these live in my backpack. And to make them keep them protected, and I'm keeping my carry very, very small for this, but to keep them protected, I'm using Galen Leather three pen zippered pen cases. This is Crazy Horse Brown. I've reviewed this and I've shown this a number of times. I think I, it's lovely, simple, clean, elegant way of carrying pens. It's seen some, once again, like a lot of my things, it's seen some love, but it's one of the reasons I love this uh, particular leather finish. So what am I putting in there? Well, there's gonna be two fountain pens and a rollerball pen. The rollerball pen I'm carrying simply because uh, when I'm on flights and things, I'm going to be taking the cartridge out of the fountain pen. Um, I will cap it. I've got the brass stoppers from um, Great Fountain Pen or uh, Great Fountain. Um, they're just a for standard international cartridge, they're a little brass stopper. I've shown them on this channel. Uh, so I put the brass stopper in, put it in a lock seal bag, and then when I'm finished with the flight, I put the cartridge back in the pen. Simple way of not wasting ink, not wasting uh, cartridges, all of those sorts of things, and less plastic in the world. 
So the roller ball I'm carrying for like when I don't have a, a fountain pen inked up is the Faber Castell Hexo roller ball. It's got a nice refill. It's got a nice grip section. I really enjoy it, uh, and it's super super reliable. Faber Castell do I think some of my favourite pens, and you know, following that up with the Faber Castell Loom, which is one of my pens for traveling here. Once again, I'll be using standard international cartridges uh, in that pen. It writes so well with just about any ink. Um, and I've chosen one ink brand to sort of go through all of these. And I'm gonna have both of these fountain pens inked up most of the time. One with a color, one with an everyday writing ink. Um, and the other pen is the Diplomat Excellence B. And I've spoken about this also, about how I use this for uh, travel use because as I said, it uses standard international cartridges um, and it's a super reliable pen and it writes nicely. Beautiful smooth nib like Diplomat do. Um, so those are the three pens. And the ink I've chosen for those pens is all dye mine. The Everyday Writing ink being, of course, uh, Oxford Blue, which we know that I adore. Dye mine inks are great. They are safe. They are pen friendly. They perform well and oxford blue i think is one of the most beautiful dark blue inks on the market the other thing i have and this is for variety so this will go in the uh, diplomat pen uh is this set this is the fiesta set from diamine and so you get 20 cartridges in here with five different colors four of each of them so we got autumn oak matador marine bilberry and ultra green which is great because three of those inks autumn oak Marine and Bilberry are three of my favorites. It's always good to have a green or a red on hand as well. So one of those at a time, just for something colorful, for uh, marking you know, headers and things like that in my planner, all of that sort of thing. And then along with the Sailor and the Diamine also Blue, two really solid everyday writing inks uh, to have on hand. Across all of those pro uh, bits and pieces is a good selection of what I have scaled my carry down to. I'd normally carry a planner and a diary uh, as well as, you know, a journal and all that sort of stuff, as well as other notebooks. So really keeping it to a pocket notebook, a pad, and then my planner slash journal slash diary, uh, and then a handful of, um, you know, carefully selected pens and things. Um, it's a much smaller carry than I would normally have with me, and I think that's a little bit more manageable, but still gives me the things I need to... Uh, do the stuff that I like to do. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore of sage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. I would love to know what you do when you travel, how you carry things, how you deal with ink, with flights and all those sorts of things. Um, so drop that in the comments to this video, uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, uh, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens and your paper and your ink and all your accessories, and I'll talk to you soon.